Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As you guys can see here, we've already pulled out the cards. Uh, so let's get right into your reading, Taurus, for the month of December. Um, so your general energy here is the Ten of Pentacles. Not sure if you guys can see that. We have the Ten of Pentacles, and this is talking about financial stability. This is talking about... Um, stability more than anything and it also shows it depicts um not sure if you guys can see this but it depicts a road a path um and what this is speaking to me is for some of you guys for the month of december you're going to be experiencing clarity of mind and knowing where you're going and this is something very important because this is uh, ultimately how you're going to kick off the new or kick off the old year and start the new year. And again, um, opportunities coming for you guys to increase uh, your income for those of you guys that are still trying to find a job or find a job that is uh, compatible with you and, and with your what you're wanting. Um, all of this starts to happen and all of this will start to manifest for you in a positive aspect and to the best of your interest. Now, you do have the Eight of Wands here with the Four of Swords. So for some of you guys is expecting communication from someone, perhaps uh, someone that is no longer communicating with you uh, or that they've been silent for quite a while. They will be uh, communicating or trying to contact you uh, for the month of December going into, I want to say, the first week of December, uh, going into the second week of December. Now, this could be attachment or attachments to people from the past, as we do have the Six of Cups here. And for, the, for some of you guys from the last reading of November, I believe, uh, for those of you guys that experienced an ending in a relationship, this could have to do with that, where they've been silent for quite a while and out of the blue, they start to communicate um, and they try or are trying uh, to get closer to you. Now, the Six of Cups does signify against um, people from the past, uh, relationships, exes. Um, but this can also represent almost like feeling or saying to yourself that you're over this, but still hoping um, that there may s still be hope. Now, you do have the Page of Swords here. And the Page of Swords is um, they may be communicating with you. Again, like I said, trying to get closer to you. And you may feel like you're defensive, like you have to protect yourself, like maybe they're not being completely honest. What Spirit is telling you is with the Two of Pentacles, you need to find the balance or make a choice in order for you to move forward and go into the next phase of your life. Um, whether this was uh, based off of a choice, meaning whether it was you that pulled away from this relationship or whether it was the partner that pulled away from this relationship, um, spirit is trying to guide you and it's trying to, again, clear the way, make way for you, uh, to go into better and, um, not only circumstances, but to put yourself in a better position, uh, to embrace new beginnings, Taurus. So pay very close attention to that. And again, there is going to be a feeling of having to make a choice for the month of December. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with an ex, uh, partner, it could be a fire sign, which would be a Sagittarius, a Leo, um, or an Aries. Uh, for others of you, it could represent a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and again, if this is a person from the past that has hurt you and you're still healing from this, um, do not be quick to go back or do not be quick to give them the opportunity only because you feel that, you know, I've gone through difficulties and... I know how they are and I know that they're not perfect, so I might as well put up with that um, than to start all over with someone else. Love yourself more than that, Taurus. Uh, believe in yourself more than that and do not settle for anything less than what you deserve. Um, if they're not making you happy and they're not fully committed to you the way you've been willing to commit to them, it's time to end that and walk away. Make the choice that is going to make you happy in the long run, not momentarily. Now, I do want to mention to you guys, uh, we are going into the new moon phase of Jupiter. And for you, Taurus, this um, represents Jupiter will be going into your eighth house. The eighth house rules miracles. And 
could come through through crisis um, um, and changes, cha major transformations in our life. So what this means to you is uh, Jupiter going into your eighth house. It, it could be expansion and again, things manifesting for you, things that you've been wishing and desiring and hoping for for a very long time. Unfortunately, um, this usually happens after a crisis. So again, for some of you guys, it could be the ending of relationships. It could be the devastation of people stepping out of the relationship or even you, Taurus, um, stepping out of the relationship and uh, creating chaotic type of energy surrounding you, family members, and stuff like that. Nonetheless, um, when Jupiter goes into your eighth house, um, this has already happened or you've already been experiencing this. So the best, um, the best is yet to come and in your life specifically. Um, now it also correlates with hidden resources. So again, surprises, uh, checks that were never mailed out to you or bonuses that were never paid to you. Uh, all of this, uh, the eighth house rules and with Jupiter, which is a very lucky planet, uh, it's going to be bringing to you hidden resources. So don't be surprised if you hear from someone that owed you money and hadn't paid you. Um, but it also rules healing and secret developments, um, powerful revival in your energy, in your aura, Taurus. So definitely very beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And we'll see each other in the middle of the month. Bye.